very much, Carol. Are any further questions of Ms. Ryman? Seeing none, thank you. And uh, our last testifier before we take our break is going to be Mr. John Brown. And following the return at 310, or at, at least 10 minutes from the time we begin our break, uh, Mr. Doug Corbin will be next. Thank you. So is Mr. John Brown here? Uh, all right. Is Mr. Corbin here? Do you want to give your testimony now or you want to give it after the break? Okay, all right. Members, we're going to take a 10 minute break. We will be returning uh, at 310 in recess until 310. Aloha. The uh, meeting of the Economic Development Agriculture and Recreation Committee will reconvene. This is meeting of September 3rd, 2009. We left off uh, with our testifier who's going to be next is Mr. Doug Corbin, and he will be followed by Mr. Alan Cadiz. So is Mr. Corbin here? Okay. He's coming to the podium, and he'll be followed by Mr. Alan Cadiz. Do you have any milk? No. looking at me like, why am I standing there? <laughs> Is there a few more people? Um, no, we're, we're just beginning the meeting because we, you know, they'll be joining us shortly, so they'll be back. My name is Doug Corbin. Thank you, council members that are present and Madam Chair for allowing me time to speak. Um, some of you may know who I am. I've appeared at many of these meetings. Um, I think that you should listen to what I have to say because I'm an expert in the field of shore diving. I've been working off of beaches for 24 years. Never had an accident and had many, many situations where I provided assistance to county officials, public, people who were in trouble, people who just needed questions answered. I hold three, wor three world records in scuba. I was selected as Maui's unsung hero, 19, 2007. I've been called an ambassador of Aloha. I am a main attraction in the Pacific Whale Foundation's Whale Day Parade, which I've seen you attending many times. It's been a lot of fun. I was on Alan Arakawa's reality check TV show on July 29th with a direct message to the mayor, which I don't think she heard. I was on the Maui Daily Show at the meeting that was held on June 26th discussing what we're talking about today. And every time I get up and talk to the you folks about what's going on, I think my words are falling on deaf ears. I've given suggestions and I've offered my um, consulting services or consultation free of charge to the county to feel free to ask me questions about how they should handle the permit situation. Not one time has anybody ever contacted me and said, hey Doug, let's sit down and have some lunch, come into our office, let's talk about what's going on. What do you think? What, what can we do to make things better? Well, I have a couple suggestions right now, so please listen up. First of all, I would suggest that some of the people here that are going to be making decisions on this get some of the facts straight. I've heard some questions from the gallery here, and it appears that you folks really aren't up to speed on what we've been going through. Um, it was brought up that there were 131 permits out there. Actually, there's 139 to my knowledge, but there's not 139 individual people taking up spaces at the beach. I hold four permits. Maui Dive Shop holds multiple permits. Lahaina Divers holds multiple permits. Many people hold multiple permits. And the reason we have to hold multiple permits is because of the way the permit system is set up. And it's not set up very well. We're here to talk about transferability of the permits. If the permits were not going to expire at the end of each year, then that may be an issue. 
but since they do expire and we have to go through a complete application process every single year and be approved or disapproved, there's really no way anybody's going to offer to sell their permit, nor would any smart businessman offer to buy a permit. It was said today that we should be ashamed of ourselves in this gallery because some of us exploit a $50 permit that we purchased 10, 12 years ago and now sell it for $50,000. That fact is not a fact. Nobody has sold a permit for $50,000. Anybody who would buy one for $50,000 is out of their mind because they're going to go down next June and go, what's up with the permits? They say, we don't know. We're going to figure that out. I advise the mayor to not sign this current law right on television. It was signed in closed doors on August 12th. We were informed that it was signed last Friday and told that it went into effect two days ago. Well, I told him not to sign it, told her not to sign it because it had problems. And look where we are here today, fixing the first problem, which won't even get fixed today. We're going to have problems with parking situations. We're going to have problems with the um, insurance situations. Oh, there's a whole bunch more that even come up. So that should have never been signed. We could have been working on that and fixing it rather than fixing a problem that's going to just pop its head up again. Thank you, Mr. Corbin. Um, are there any questions of Mr. Corbin? Thank you very much for Thank your you. testimony. Alan Cadiz, and he'll be followed by uh, Brian Yeslin.